Hello Cancer, this is your monthly video for August 2018. Uh, we have Mercury still retrograding right till the 18th of the month. Mars goes direct on August 26, which is awesome. We can expect uh, the full moon on that night in Pisces. And we also have the last of three eclipses happening on August 11th in the sign of Leo. So let's tune in, see how all these transits affect you and what's in store for you, Cancer, for the month of August. Month of August for Cancer. The month of August. Cancer for the month of Okay, so we have come in with a bang for sure. So let's see. So first of the month, we see uh, the Knight of Swords coming up, the Three of Swords coming up, the Devil card coming up, the Five of Wands, and then the Chariot in reverse. So a little bit of a challenging start to the beginning of the month. Um, the guides are talking about, you know, looking at things from a perspective of... Um, logic this this card has come up for almost all the readings it's the knight of swords um very much about acting quickly decisively with logic and you know some sudden and unexpected changes definitely have happened or will be happening when this card shows up um, i see that you're dealing with some loss as well the three of swords and um, this card is called the three of winter um, uh, it is inviting you, the card is inviting you to definitely reach out to those people around you for support. Um, so I do sense that this sudden change has already happened. There might have been a loss in the last few months. Um, I also see uh, there's some illusions of feeling trapped um, coming up. So with the devil card, you know, there's some fear and some worry. Um, there could be like an over... Um, uh, reliance on substances maybe or um, indulgence in like just trying to feel good using you know maybe drugs maybe alcohol could be food um, just placing too much importance on external things right now and I feel like when it's paired with this loss card it might be just a coping mechanism at this point um, I see that there's some a little bit of drama with the people around you with the five of wands coming up uh, maybe some overly ambitious people around you maybe you're just feeling at odds with yourself you, there could be I feel like this is more of an internal battle honestly with yourself and it, I do feel like it has put a halt on your career uh, advancement so Definitely there's some stuff going on with you guys that is affecting your work productivity. So let's just look in and see how the solar eclipse affects cancer. So I, I do feel like you were negatively impacted by the lunar eclipse that just happened in Aquarius at the end of July. Um, it may be, you know, it just brought up a lot of changes or feelings and you know, maybe things that have been buried deep within you for a really long time have come to the surface. So let's see how this solar eclipse affects cancer in the month of August. Uh, definitely you have this feel, there's this feeling of wanting to break away from people and just be left alone, um, which is, you know, a normal response to grief and loss. Um, now, some of you may be saying, well, I haven't lost anything. Well, maybe it's just a loss of a dream or a loss of a, um, you know, a career choice. Or maybe you're, you're just recognizing, like, where you're at in your life isn't where you thought you would be. That's also a loss. Um, loss doesn't always mean the death of someone. It can mean just a loss of yourself. Like, you feel lost. Um, I do see you have a lot of good people around you. Um, maybe some of you need to look deeper at the people around you and see that. Like maybe you're not really seeing that right now through this lens of um, uh, loss and um, inner conflict. Um, I feel like 
around you know the 24th of the month you know you might have some financial stuff come up um, you know uh, maybe some legal or unexpected um, uh, legal costs or something like that could come up um, and the guides are saying you know maybe take some time and do some uh, charity work or uh, you know devote your time and not worry so much about money um, and it's really odd to say that because you know if you need money the, the, the obvious logical thing to do is to work more hours but what they're actually saying for you cancer is to work less hours and do some more some volunteer work and that will balance out your money because uh, right now you're a little bit pinching the the purse strings and being a little bit stingy um, and that's not gonna that's not an attitude of abundance so therefore it doesn't really attract money so let's see the end of the month um, the end of the month the end of the month for cancer the end of the month for cancer okay well good news for the end of the month in terms of money we have the ace of pentacles show up which often indicates a windfall of money or advice it could be or some kind of assistance from other people and in this could be pertaining to a project um, some kind of happy change in your career is on the horizon for sure. It could even be the beginning of next month in September. Um, I am sensing that full moon in Pisces that happens on the 26th is going to be quite a um, significant shift for you energetically. Like I feel like you're going to come out of that moon with a very like a much more positive attitude than when you went into it. So, for example, like going into the full moon, I see you getting really fired up and just really like worried and defensive and trying to protect the fruits of your labor. Um, so the nine of wands shows up there or the nine of spring in this deck. And then the full moon happens and you sort of soften up a bit. And then we see the nine of pentacles coming up where it's all about, you know, cherishing your time alone, not really trying to get away from people, but just being appreciative of the time you get to yourself. I feel like during that full moon, you really recognize that you do have people around you you can trust. Um, you start to see all of the support you've had over the last few weeks, months, year, whatever. Um, so that's really a, really a good thing. Um, so I, again, that full moon's on the 26th and it's in Pisces. So around the 29th is when you're going to really feel the beneficial aspects or like that energetic shift I was talking about. So let's see if there's anything else for, um, if there's anything else for Cancers for the month of August. Anything for Cancer that I left out for the month of August for cancer for the month of August okay so this is a beautiful card I love it it says be yourself this situation calls for you to be your authentic self which is the basis for your personal power so that's a really strong reminder cancer to really embrace who you are despite you know any faults you might perceive that you have um, you know, you might not have as much money as you want. You might not be exactly where you want to be in your career. You might not have the partner of your dreams yet. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter. Just be who you are. Be yourself. Embrace who you are. Love yourself. All of yourself. Even the parts you don't like. Um, I feel like that's a really good reminder for you. Because you are, um, like I said, the loss that you could be feeling might be just within yourself. And I do feel and sense that that could be it. The um, issues that are coming up for you right now don't necessarily have to be tangible losses, like a loss of a parent or a loss of a child or something like that. It could just simply be like you're just not happy with who you are and where you are in your life. And that is a loss. Um, I hope that this helps you. Remember, this is a general reading. If you want something more specific and personal to you, then do book uh, with information below. Share this video if you found it helpful with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe. I will see you again here next month. Take care.